I was a victim of one of the worst online bullying experiences that has taken place publicly anyway. I'm Tanya Gersh. I wasn't afraid to stand up against hatred and didn't let hateful people define who I am. I've always been really bubbly and I've always looked on the bright side and I had no idea that I was hated by anybody. So when my family was attacked with thousands and thousands and thousands of emails, text messages, online uh, reviews of my business and of everywhere they could find my personal life and attacked us in every way they possibly could on the internet. It was mind-blowing to me because my innocence was completely lost. Until it hits you, you don't really process it to find out how real it was and how it entered my family and entered my world so quickly was life-changing. And I had a really hard time bouncing back from it at first. Rather than taking it personally, which it's so easy to take internet bullying personally, something made me realize this bullying, this hate they have for me isn't about me at all. It's about them. It's about their hate. By being mindful and practicing mindfulness, I was able to escape living inside my head. Because when we're wrapped up in our head, making movies in our head, about what could happen or what might happen or what people are thinking or what could even happen at the end of the day. It's all so overwhelming and being grateful is just so much easier. I realize that I need to choose my own happiness. Nobody is going to make me happy. And once I took my pain and I could use it to help other people, I started to feel like a rock star. I started to feel like myself again. Going through pain alone is debilitating. As soon as I was able to make a connection with others that are going through something similar than I am, and even if it's not similar at all, just making that connection that other people have grief and pain and knowing I wasn't in the world alone was everything. We can't do this alone. And we forget that we is much more powerful.